Welcome back to Educator.com and welcome back to Biochemistry. So uh, today we're going to start our discussion of um, protein and amino acid metabolism and breakdown. So uh, today I'm just going to do a quick overview, uh, talk about the basic reactions, and then we'll start talking about the individual reactions. And in particular, we're going to talk about this amino transferase reaction. So let's just jump right on in. Okay. So um, the proteins that you ingest or the proteins that happen to be inside the cells anyway, um, they uh, undergo normal catabolism like anything else. So the thing with proteins or the things with amino acids is they don't just have the carbon skeleton part, uh, they also have that amino group, that NH3 group or NH4 group. So the metabolism happens in two ways. The amino group is metabolized and the carbon skeleton is metabolized. So the first thing we're going to discuss is the metabolism of the amino group. So just a quick breakdown here. So we have our proteins from whichever source and of course they're going to be broken down into amino acids. Acids and so the amino acids, there is one pathway this is the other pathway here. This becomes NH4 plus. The amino group is taken away. And this eventually enters the urea cycle. Uh, some of it is used for biosynthesis, this NH4. The rest of it enters the urea cycle for excretion. So let's go ahead and just put something like that. Urea there. So that is the urea cycle. Now these over here, these are the alpha keto acids that are left over. Okay, what we would call the carbon skeletons without that NH3 group. Skeletons. Okay. And we're going to have, let's go ahead and do at this point, those are going to enter the citric acid cycle. which we have already discussed. And between them, there is something called the aspartate. Argininosuccinate shunt. So there is a connection. So these amino acids, the amino group is metabolized one way, the carbon skeletons are metabolized another way, and there is a passage you know, between them. So this is sort of the big picture of what's going on with amino acid metabolism. Okay, so we're going to talk about this first part right here, and in particular, what happens right here, and then we'll go ahead and discuss the urea cycle in subsequent lessons. Okay, so let's see here. Now these processes all take place in the liver, in liver cells. So what I'm about to do here, so these processes all take place in the liver. Okay, so this is going to be the overview here. Let me, mm, you know what, let me go ahead and do this in blue, I think. So we have C, we have COO, so this is R, we have H, and we have our NH3+. Plus. So this is just some amino acid that is either inside the liver or came from outside from dietary protein, things like that. So what happens is the following. So C, C, R, O, O minus. Go ahead and draw this. One, two, three, four, five. O minus, this is alpha ketoglutarate. And this is going to be O minus there. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. We have COO minus. We have H. And let me go ahead and put this NH3 plus here. CH2, CH2, COO minus. So this molecule, well, actually, let me go ahead and finish up the drawing here. This is going to be the NH4 plus. Okay, this is going to be excretion. And it's going to be either NH4 plus, 
it's going to be urea or it's going to be uric acid depending on the uh, particular organism that we're talking about for us it's going to be urea so now let me see here so this is let me, in red let me go ahead and do this is glutamate this molecule right here this molecule right here is the alpha ketoglutarate okay this is just your any amino acid notice that we have an R group there could be anything and this is your alpha keto acid so this is your alpha keto acid that's left over after the amino group is taken off so this amino group is what's taken off it is transferred to alpha ketoglutarate and it is held as glutamate so glutamate is a central molecule in all of the processes that we're going to be describing that take place in the liver glutamate is the place where amino acids are held until they are, I'm sorry, where the amino groups are held until they are further processed. In the process of going from glutamate back to alpha-ketoglutarate, this amino group is released as NH4. Now, some of this is used for biosynthesis, and the rest is excreted. It enters the urea cycle, which we'll discuss in a little bit. So that's all that's going on here. So these alpha-keto acids, they are the carbon skeletons that are left over from amino acids that transfer their amino group to alpha-ketoglutarate to form glutamate. So carbon skeletons. Okay, so that's one of the processes that takes place. Okay, now let's go ahead. Another process that takes place is this one. So let's go, uh, let's do this one. Let's go back to blue in our molecules. So C, 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 O minus, H, NH3 plus, CH2, CH2, oops. Mm, wait, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yes, there we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, here we go. NH2. <clears throat> so this goes to our C, 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 O, O minus, this is H, this is NH3 plus, CH2, CH2, this is there, and of course NH4 plus, which goes on to release either the NH4 plus, the urea, or the uric acid. Okay, so this one, here we have glutamine. Um, the excess ammonia that's produced in other tissues, tissues that are outside of the liver, um, they are, that ammonia is tied up as glutamine. So that's this right here, okay? It's tied up that way. What you have is you have glutamate that actually ties it up as the NH2 group. So these NH2 group on the glutamine are the ammonias that are produced by the metabolism of other proteins that are not in the liver cells. And they are transported to the liver cells at which they give up this particular um, ammonia group, this NH2, they give it up as the NH4, and that goes on to either be used in biosynthesis or excreted as urea, uric acid, or NH4. So this is another, and this right here, when it gives it up, it turns into this molecule glutamate. And again, as we saw, glutamate is the central molecule in, um, in this you know, amino group metabolism. So glutamate, very, very important molecule. And this glutamate, of course, goes on to release this one in another step, which we just saw a minute ago, in its conversion to alpha-ketoglutarate to free up the alpha-ketoglutarate to take more amino groups from other amino acids that are already in the liver. So this right here is the glutamine from other tissues. Okay, from other tissues. Okay, now the excess, NH3, produced in other tissues 
as we just said, is tied up as the NH2 group of glutamine. So it's very, very important. It's this NH2 that is the ammonia from um, the excess ammonia from other tissues, not this. It's this. Two group of glutamine. Glutamine. Which enters the liver and undergoes the above process. So again, glutamate is very, very central here. Okay.